Hey guys, so I am going to talk about owning a game store and just the crime rates are way up. And typically when you think about criminals, uh, it's probably somebody interested in magic or Pokemon. Someone who may be at your store before, they know where you keep the valuable cards. Uh, but no, uh, these are just regular criminals. And even the store owner has remarked that it's kind of interesting. He's actually made fun of them that they don't know what they're supposed to take. They're just like shopping. They're, they, I mean, you know, there's no panic. There's no, I mean, he's actually putting figures up and down. He's looking at them almost, I mean, again, like almost like he is shopping, um, which is odd, right? But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, maybe he, he wants to go shopping a little bit. But yeah, that that's kind of... Uh, where I, I think the most danger lies, most of the danger is not in the people who play the game, uh, but in the people who don't. Uh, if they realize this is a valuable item, this is something that is worth a lot of money, then yes, they will rob local game stores because that's just how it goes. Um, local game stores are not immune to being robbed because they are actually in great danger, grave danger, I would say, when people figure out, whoa, holy shit, like those tiny little cards, that little Black Lotus card is worth 10000 I can get $10,000 straight for it at another local game store or even online or eBay. You know, just fungibility of Magic the Gathering is quite high. So that's probably where I would be very cautious and I would definitely think twice because of, about opening a game store because now even normal criminals uh, are are interested in robbing your store. Now, of course, in this case, they have no idea what they're taking and they um, don't really, I guess, care as much as maybe they should. You know, I, I would expect if you're going to rob a place and potentially go to jail for a while, you would at least know why you are there and not kind of just bundle, bumble around, right? I mean, the fact that they're bum bumbling around is quite um, fascinating. I think it is quite interesting because it, 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 again, shows that they are not ordinary magic players. Um, when you see them steal stuff, they go directly to the, the cabinet and then clear out all the singles, right? Because the singles, A, easy, easy, easy. Um, um, easy to forget that the cards that we play with in ed8s and commander are really really fungible fungible so i think it's um very very interesting i think it is quite strange i think it is a um very fascinating to see people who don't know what they're trying to get, right? They don't know what um, they're trying to get and they're still robbing the store. That is very concerning as someone who would own a store and may want to own a store because that tells me that these are individuals who only have the general sense. You know, most magic people, they're, they're not go to rob a store they're not going to rob the store they play at it would be a little too obvious but when you have people who don't play magic and they think robbing i mean the guy's literally looking at, at figures and seeing like oh is this a cool figure i think this is a cool figure hey guys check out this figure here almost as if they were shopping the only difference is that it's 2 a.m at night and also the store owner mentioned there was a very valuable shipment of new car i think he was talking about pokemon i think it's pokemon 151 or, um, and they didn't grab that even though that was before release date and that would have been really easy to sell. Essentially, these free people have no idea what they're taking, right? They're, I mean, look at how much time they're taking and, and look at look at this guy. He puts the stuff back and he's like, nah, man, I don't want any of this stuff. Like, that's all the valuable stuff is in that case, you idiot. Like, like it, it just, not that I want to encourage him to steal it, but clearly all the valuable stuff is in that case. That's why there's a camera there and that nowhere else. Like it's, it's kind of weird that like he puts everything back and it's 
Like, you, you know, like, you know from the store structure, any gamer, I don't think they're Magic player. I don't think they're Pokemon player. I don't think they collect card games because any card gamer knows, okay, the camera is pointed at the register. The register has cash. And below the register is their most valuable singles. Yeah. I mean, in a nutshell, that that's kind of where, you know, in any given store. But they don't know that. And I think that's kind of interesting how that happened and that played out because um, any of us would know, hey, this is this is where this stuff is. Um, I mean, and you don't even need to go to a store. You can kind of, you, you've been to enough game stores to know that the cash register is on top of probably the, a collection of valuable singles they keep in the store and lock and they don't always put these singles in the safe because then they have to take it out. And again, uh, maybe it's too much work for them and no one's, they're not expecting to get broken into right that makes sense so that is pretty uh fascinating in my opinion uh something to definitely keep your eyes out on and something that i, I look at and i say wow that is that is uh weird 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 right um anyway back to my initial assessment when people who don't play magic the gathering or pokemon they're the ones stealing the game uh, they're the ones stealing from you. That That is not good. That tells me that it's not a good time to open a game store because um, you don't want that at all. Uh, you don't want anyone to steal from you, of course, but specifically people who don't play the game and only know that these cards are valuable, that's not a audience you want to be advertising to and bringing to your game store because that puts your game store in massive danger um and that makes a lot of sense to me anyway let me know uh if your game store has ever been robbed like this uh my game store was robbed and that's why i made it members only privates only right and that that made it a lot better in my opinion uh it was something that was pretty a good move and now again we don't have rent or anything so we, we don't have as much overhead. So we didn't really need to ever sell to the public. And we never did. There was no point in selling to the public. We were actually located in Montrose, which is a hipster neighborhood. And we would just take all of our cards home and put it in the safe the next day. So we were pretty, after the first robbery, we were pretty safe in terms of um, not being robbed. Because they get like break into the store. There's nothing there. Just like boxes and heavy boxes. You know, <laughs> they would help us, right? They would heavy bag it, uh, take all of our heavy bags away. And I always wondered if, like, insurance... Anyway, I'm not going to talk about it, but I was always wondering, like, if, like, you could just hire a thief to steal your heavy bags and then get insurance money from it. It it was a thought. Okay, I think every store owner thinks about that, setting their store on fire and uh, collecting the insurance money. 